hello everyone and welcome to another video and in this video i'm going to show you how i add water to my batteries so this is my inverter this is a fairly old inverter i've already had this repaired like three times and it is still working this is from luminous and this is my battery this is also luminous and this is also my third battery so i've replaced uh, my batteries three times this is the third battery and you can see i bought it on 36 2017 so it's almost one year old battery and as you can see uh, this is the battery and I'm going to add water today so you can see that these valves are called your float valves so inside you will see that there is a small stick with something on top of that which is floating and there are two markings one is at the bottom which is red and one is on the top which is green so if the float is between these two values that means the uh, water in your battery is good enough but I like to keep it topped up at least about the green marker so that I don't have to go do this frequently. So there are about six terminals one two three and four five and then this one six. So before you start opening these uh, valves I suggest you take a piece of cloth a little wet cloth and you should, I, you should wipe off the dust of your battery because we don't want the dust to go inside your battery because the dust will help in the production of lead uh, sulfate crystals uh, which normally forms in your battery when the battery is discharged but and when you charge your battery the lead sulfate crystals uh, turns back into lead but if there is impurity uh, it is difficult for the lead crystals to dissolve uh, and break down into lead and that decreases the life of your battery so make sure you uh, clean your battery before you open these terminals so that no dust gets inside okay so once you've cleaned your uh, battery you should always clean your uh, inverter top as well because this will wipe off the dust from on top of your inverter and keep the inverter cool so you should always clean your inverter as well there we go now for water, I'm going to be using uh, the distilled water as you can see this is auto distilled water you can buy this water from uh, automotive shop like a garage or you can also buy the water from petrol pumps they also sell uh, distilled water. There is another kind of water available which is the DM water or the demineralized water you can also use that water as well but honestly speaking I have no idea whether this water is pure or not because uh, they do what they do and we just buy the water and there is hardly any ways of telling whether the water is pure or not however you can buy a TDS meter which you can use to tell the uh, hardness of the water and you can also do some uh, pH test that may tell you some that may give you more information about the pH of the water however this is how I get them I buy them from a petrol pump you can also buy them from an inverter shop or a battery shop so this comes in a uh, bottle of about one liter and the cost is about usually 20 rupees as you can see and it was manufactured in March so to add the water what I do is basically I use a funnel let me zoom it in I will use a funnel like this and just open as you can see if you look at the float valve in this particular one you can see that the float is about here and it is fine I have no problem with this make sure that the float doesn't go below this red mark because if it, it will glow below that mark that means the water in your battery is low if the float is at this mark it is fine if the float is at this mark it is fine but make sure that it doesn't go below but still I'm going to top it off just to show you guys how I do it so simply hold the uh, float from the plastic part not this part because you will break this part the plastic part and then open it once open it don't take it out just leave it on the side like that now take your funnel like that and then add the little bit of water I 
don't add a lot of water at a single time so if you, if you see that in this bottle the water is about this level so I'm going to add about water up till here so add a little bit of water at a, at a time so that you know how much you are filling the battery then stop take the funnel out put the funnel the float back and take a look at what is your level of the float so you can see the float rise a little bit so let me add a little bit more so that should be good enough now close back the float and it's about at the green level it's about at the green level now again you don't have to fill this uh, fill the water up till green uh, point make sure that the float this red point doesn't go below this red line because if the float goes below this red line that means the water in your battery is very low and there is a very big chance that you may damage the pl plates in your battery so next up we have the other one you can see that one and in this case it is also uh, satisfactory at a satisfa satisfactory level so the water is still good in this uh, terminal uh, make sure that it doesn't go below the red line so i'm just going to tap it off anyway open it holding the plastic part not the glass part the plastic part because it will break hold it from the bottom and then just put it on top of the battery at a side then put your funnel in and then slowly add the water take the take the funnel out check for the level a little bit and we could add a little more so let me add a little more and tighten it up using the holding the plastic part okay so let me finish the uh, final one which is at the red terminal so let's do another one this is the one that we are going to do now again hold the uh, uh, the tap the float from the plastic part open it put it on the side of the battery take your funnel put the funnel inside the hole take the bottle make sure you're not adding a lot so the level is about here I'm going to add about this much after adding a little bit keep checking the float because we don't want the overflow as you can see we're just about right so I'm just going to let it close and then we have the final one which is this one which is hidden after the plastic so open it as well and as you can see it is below green line but that's all right we don't have to refill it just yet but I'm going to do it anyway and you can see the float moved up a little bit 
So there you go, this is how you add water in a battery. And you can keep the battery last long if you keep topping up the water when you see the water in your battery is low. After adding the battery, I'm just going to clean uh, using the same cloth. I'm going to clean up the battery once again. If there was any spilled water, and you're done. So there we go. This was my video and how I add water to my batteries. I hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.